Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever. I just, it wasn't happening. The filming wasn't happening. Even the makeup, it wasn't happening. But I'm back and um, yeah, 2022, right? Let's, <laughs> yay, 2022. I feel like 2021 had us, you know, it was a long year and it had us by the balls. Like we couldn't move, we couldn't do anything, you know? And it was tough 2021 was tough and now i feel like 2022 is going to be like the sequel i hope not i hope not because i cannot do that again okay i i can't <laughs> Ooh, no ah! imagine going through 2021 and 2022 this is the thing i don't know why people expect that when a new year comes things are going to change it doesn't happen like that it's not like the year starts and things changes it doesn't happen like that so if we don't take active steps to change our year this year then 2022 is going to be another shit show i'm sorry to say it's going to be maybe worse than 2021 and that's not what we the most common thing when a year starts is this new year new me business okay the most common thing is this new year new me business this new year's resolution and you know i, I get that i get there's a need i guess or people need or they feel like they should renew themselves or better themselves because the new the new year started which is fair and fine okay but i wanted to speak to the other side that no one talks about the pandemic, the COVID pandemic has brought to light something, especially in the black culture that is not talked about a lot. And that is mental health issues. And they were highlighted in 2020, 2021. I think it was worse than 2021. And I feel that it comes from pressure. Okay. Pressure from anywhere, the family, school, work, and it, it's just pressure. Right. And I feel that, okay. So the last thing that you want to do is pressurize yourself to write these resolutions guys you don't have to have a resolution for 2022 okay you can just start the year and just start surviving because that's what most of us have been doing we've been trying to survive okay when you wake up and you get your bed done you're like i did something right okay do not feel the pressure from society, from the internet, because everyone is telling you how to write your New Year's resolutions or you should write your New Year's resolutions. You don't owe anyone to betterment. I mean, you don't owe anyone betterment. You don't owe anyone um, bettering yourself or whatever it is. You owe no one anything. All you have to do is just live and survive. Okay, you know, like, okay, you're already on this earth okay you don't have to justify why you're here you don't have to work hard to stay here okay you don't have to work hard to prove a point to anyone take it easy baby steps like it's your lane it's your race you're not doing this for anyone else so don't pr put pressure on yourself to like write new year's resolutions if you can't do that okay i know like i get like a proper insight attack when i start thinking of okay let me write resolutions for the year because it hasn't been happening <laughs> i won't lie the last three years the things i wrote down or the things i wanted to achieve it hasn't been happening they haven't been happening and it's not because of lack of trying they just haven't been happening so every time this time around when i try writing them i feel like a, a bit of deja vu like you you've been down this road before and you tried it and it didn't work and honestly you don't have to <laughs> you really don't have to write anything down and plan to accomplish it okay i'm not saying resolutions are bad get me right they're not bad if you're that if it works for you by all means do it if it doesn't work be real with yourself okay if you're not honest with yourself then what are you even doing okay if you know they don't work for you then don't if they do work for you fair and fine just be realistic with yourself be realistic with the things that you're going after there's okay. nothing wrong with having a vision all i'm saying is if your resolutions your goals and your visions are driven by the fact that it's a new year and everyone is telling you that you should have new year's resolutions and because it's a new year there should be a better version of yourself no <laughs> the version of yourself that has to be out there is the version that you are okay you don't owe anyone any explanation one shoe doesn't fit all like it's not custom stone what works for others all those uh, influencers and everything might not work for you chances are that it won't work for you so don't pursue it this is what i always say about when you go through life right don't copy other people's examples just 
take it as people on the internet, these influencers and YouTubers and who else are giving you recommendations. It's up to you what to take. You can't take everything that everyone says off this internet because to start with, we all know this, people live a fake life. They tell us to do things that they don't even do. Now you're here stressing about resolutions. No, <laughs> take them as recommendations. They say this might work okay. You take it with a bit of salt. You're like, ah, that might work for me. That might not work for you. And then you leave, you move, okay? This year, don't be pressurized into doing things that one, you're not ready for okay or two things that you don't want follow your path okay if this year you want to work on your mental health by all means do what works find someone to talk to okay deal with it okay if you need to journal anything or write anything down by all means if you don't have to by all means or what you're working on is just smiling a day or learning a new word a day by all means okay we can't all be great <laughs> sadly now we can't all be great and greatness is a subjective thing okay just do what you know best and just try and live your life because in this year i refuse to be stressed or anxious or depressed about something that someone put on me i refuse i refuse to do that this year i want to get my own pace i want to be stressed out by things that i choose for myself okay i want to sleep at night worried because i decided to take a job that i told myself i should take right I don't want to be worried because some person somewhere was like stay in your job or go with that job and now i have to live with a decision that someone else made for me it's not gonna happen this year i i'm sorry i'm sorry it's not gonna happen i'm not gonna do that for a change put yourself first okay you can't put everyone else first and everyone else's happiness first and you have to like bite your tongue and uh, act some type of way because you want a your character to be palatable people you want for people to accept you no we are going to be ourselves this year okay we're going to do whatever we can to survive that's all that's the number one goal we are out here to survive mentally we want to survive mentally we want to survive in our jobs if we decide to go out and start a, a, a career, like a business somewhere we just want to survive like i said you don't owe anyone betterment as this year progresses do things for yourself discover yourself try and find out the things you love try and put yourself first the things that make you smile discover yourself what you like reading the kind of job that you like i didn't say go look out for a job just discover yourself discover who you love who your friends are discover your sexuality discover your discover everything you know do what works look on the internet talk to other people see what other people do like i said there are recommendations but do what works for you okay do what makes you happy for once in your life okay because if we if we've learned anything from the past year is life is not promised to anyone and life is too short to be doing things that everyone else is doing because uh, everyone else is doing it or my favorite influencer is doing it we can't we can't live like that anymore we can't live like that i wish you guys a great 2022 you all every one of you you all deserve the best the best only for you in this year whether for work for school for any project you're tackling in your relationships in your family in every way possible i wish you the best in this year and i I've been meaning to do this for a very long time now, but um, 2022 New Year and everything like that, I wanted to do a little giveaway to my subscribers. Uh, I reached a thousand subscribers the end of last year and I was pretty excited and I didn't know like how to thank everyone because you want to thank everyone personally. But from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for being part of this journey, for watching my videos and everything like that. I thank you so much and so with that in mind i want to do like a mini giveaway right i just wanted to do this giveaway as a show of my appreciation to one lucky person who will win i might run another one in a month or two or on my instagram but i'll tell you about this but for this giveaway i'm going to be giving away a brush set like this it's a 10 pre it's a 10 piece it's a 10 piece brush set right it has two big brushes like this ones um, and then it has three medium brushes like this and eye brushes like this right so it's um, a 10 piece brush set and to go along with this is warrior 3 palette by juvia's place this warrior 3 palette by juvia's place 
So for you to be eligible for this giveaway, you have to be in South Africa or in Zimbabwe. Right? I can't do it for everyone else. And I chose Zimbabwe because I know how to send things to Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe, Kumusha, you know, everyone from Kumusha knows Kumusha on it as Saka, this giveaway is open to people in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. Secondly, you have to comment um, in my comment section of this video. Comment, say whatever you like, whatever you want to say, okay? Um, say anything, that's fine. I just want to interact with you in the comment sections. And the third thing for you to win, to be considered a winner, you have to subscribe to like this. Like I said, you have to be in South Africa or in Zimbabwe. South Africa or in Zimbabwe. And then you have to be subscribed to this channel. So if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel to stand a chance to be randomly picked to be the winner of this giveaway. And number three, make sure you drop a comment under this video in the comment section. This is how I'm going to pick the winner. Just right. to let you know, guys, this giveaway is not sponsored by anyone. It's not sponsored by YouTube. It's just a token of my appreciation. Uh, to you guys okay this competition will run for a month third to 31 days i'll tell you when i'm going to announce the winner and i'm then going to send whatever they win to by them. the way i like how i look in this makeup i love how i look in this makeup i look hot like a heat like a heat like a bomb mm. It's my poetic justice brains, Janet. Who? Mm. Thank you guys for joining me in this video. Until I come back with another video, guys, um, it's bye for now. And I love you guys so much. I love you. Like, I love you. Like, I love you. Bye-bye <laughs> for now.